Hey everyone, in this video we will see how to write the behavioral VHDL code for 1 to 4 DMUX using if and else if statements. So in my previous video you have seen how to write the behavioral VHDL code for uh, 1 to 4 DMUX itself with the help of uh, case statements. So we will now try to fi find out how we can write with the help of if and else if statements here. So as I have shown you, uh, this is the truth table so which has got uh, f is the input for the dmux and s0 and s1 are the select lines so these are the four outputs so depending on the select line the output will be a high at a particular one out of four bits only one bit will be high depending on the select lines here and for all cases the input should be high and when f is equal to one and s0 and s1 values are zero zero at that moment a will be high others will be zero and if the select line values are 0 1 at that moment b will be high and if it is 1 0 at that moment c will be high and if it is 1 1 then a d will be high others will be 0 so what will happen if the input for this dmux is 0 so we know that in this world if uh, input is 0 for any uh, circuit then the output should be 0 for sure so the same thing will be happening here the input for this dmux when it is 0 it will not it will not care about the select line so that is don't care cross means don't care so it will directly give the output as zero zero here so all the bits will be zero so this is how a simple uh, one to four dmux will be working so uh, now we'll see how i can write the code for this one with the help of this truth table okay so first i will do uh, one thing that is i define the entity so entity 1 to 4 dmux is so first i will defining the entity and the name of this entity is 1 to 4 dmux and uh, you can give anything so this is user uh, left to the user whether he wants to give uh, 1 to 4 dmux or something which he wants okay then uh, we will define the input and output ports here so port f comma s0 comma s1 are the inputs so in standard logic so they are in standard logic and a b c d are the outputs and they are also in the standard logic but they are outputs so i will write out here then close this bracket and put a semicolon then end this one to four dmux so the one to four dmux will be ended here then um, we have to call this entity so we have defined the entity now it's time to call uh, the entity then architecture behavioral of 1 to 4 dmux is so make sure that you are using the same name here so if the name changes then uh, it will be very uh, it will throw an error uh, saying that the entity is not defined so make sure that you are using the same name here and here defining okay so then begin then process the inputs so process inputs here so inputs are f and s0 and s1 so these are written here then th for this process we will be having a begin and now we will see the actual code so if f is equal to 1 then so first condition it will check if whether the input is high or low so if f is equal to 1 then if s1 is equal to 0 and s0 is equal to 0 then if s1 is equal to 0 and s0 is equal to 0 that is first condition at that moment assign so a is assigned with so this means assigned with f so at that moment the f will be given as the a so a will be assigned with the value of f that is a will be assigned with one here else if s1 is equal to one and s0 is equal to zero so that is one zero condition this one at that moment b will be assigned with f and if it is one zero that is third condition at that moment it will be assigned with uh, c is assigned with f value and if it is one one condition that is the last condition at that time d will be assigned with the value of f here so here as you can see d is assigned with the value of f and end if so if uh, this if statement is ended here and for this we will be having a else so if this f is equal to 1 these statements up to this will be executed and if it is f is not equal to 1 at that moment it will directly come here and it indicates f is equal to 0 so if f is 0 then uh, output will be 0 as well so the outputs will be assigned a is assigned with 0 b is assigned with 0 c is assigned with 0 and d is well assigned with 0 so like this uh, we'll be having uh, if and else if combination then end if so this if statement is ended here then this end module then end module is here so like this we can solve or write the code for 1 to 4 dmux with the help of if and else if statements and a simple truth table 
so i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates thank you thanks for watching